All right, uh, imagine sending your, your daughter to school and when she comes home, her hair's been cut out with, without your permission. Now this happened to a seven-year-old girl in Michigan, not just once, but twice. First by a classmate and then by her teacher. The girl's father's been trying to get answers and he joins us this morning to talk all about it. Jimmy Hoffmeyer, thank you so much for being here on BNC. Wish you could be here under better conditions. We want answers, mm -hmm. I know you're looking for them. Yeah, we're trying to get your reaction. The first time you see you, you send your daughter to school, obviously she gets her hair cut by a student. Want to know what your reaction was when she comes home, and what did the school say uh, ab about that incident? The first time that she came home, of course I was upset, but you're thinking that it's just a child, so you don't really mm -hmm. you don't really have the same reaction as what you would once I heard about when it was the teacher, but. Of course, we were upset. She was upset still about the child. And the only thing the school said was that they were going to look into the situation and contact the parents and then get back a hold of me to tell me what was going to be done about it. Yeah, it seems like a very lax reaction, frankly. Um, mm -hmm. Your next move was you took your daughter to get, I think, an asymmetrical cut a style um, and then when she mm -hmm. went back to school what happened next that next day it was all, actually all good we had found out that there was camera footage on the bus so the the bus driver had told us that <clears throat> the Ganyard school aide was the one that was present on the bus while the first cut had happened and then that was also when the school actually finally called me back. They didn't call me back the day that it happened. They called me back the next day. And then that Friday, I'm pretty sure it was March 24th, was when hmm. my daughter came home with the other side chopped off. And then I was really mad. And at first I'm thinking that, of course, another little kid did it. And that's when she was crying. And, you know, I finally got her to calm down. And she said, no, my teacher did it. Mm -mm. Well, she said library teacher. Let's clarify that library teacher did it. Right. Mm -mm. Right. Okay. I, that's <sighs> upsetting. I, I can imagine how you're feeling. So I'm pretty sure you went to the school. You wanted an explanation. What was the reason why she felt the need to put her hands or some scissors uh, on your child's head? <sighs> See, I personally haven't got a explanation at all other than the note that they put out stating that the t or that my daughter asked the teacher to do this to fix her hair she the note mm. also stated that my daughter asked the child to cut her hair so they're stating that the child cut my cut my daughter's hair I got it fixed and apparently my daughter still wasn't happy with it and asked the teacher to cut it again is what yeah, I mean. Okay. Told. Well, look, yeah. Okay. And I mean, mm. journey is your cute little daughter. I mean, we've seen a few pictures yeah. of her. This is traumatic. You know what I mean? You got right. no apology. You got no real clear answers. That statement you're referring to. Uh, and I, I think we have it. They say best intentions, despite best intentions of the decision, they do admit showed a lack of judgment and there could, could be disciplinary action. Um, they just don't seem like they really care about the trauma, the effect, your rights as a parent. And um, that's got to trouble you, yes? Yeah, it makes it feel like we're not important, you know? Like, why? Mm -hmm. I heard some, uh, a person at the school board meeting say that their kid was being picked on for being bullied and that got addressed mm -hmm. the next day. We're sitting on mm -hmm. almost three weeks now and nothing has happened, what what makes the difference is what I don't understand. Yeah. All right, so um, uh, Journey is, is mixed and the teacher is white. What, what reason yeah. do you believe she did it, obviously other than just lack of judgment? I, I, I honestly don't know, <laughs> you know, being that I have no answers and I don't want to be that person to make assumptions because I don't know what that teacher was thinking, honestly, but obviously she wasn't thinking is the biggest thing, you know, uh, she didn't call. And it's like I said, 
in another interview that once she had cut her hair and seen what it looked like, that's when she should have, you know, addressed me. You know, she looked at it and seen how messed up it was. If she did it out of the kindness of her heart, she would have contacted the parents like, all right, I messed up. You know, like we should probably talk about this. But since even the first haircut, I have not heard from either of the teachers. And the only person I heard from was the principal. So, well, and the uh, superintendent who really didn't give a crap about anything I said. Yeah. Wow. So yeah. I don't He's know. like, sorry, I don't, sorry, I don't not want to sorry. be the one to Almost. just point yeah. the fingers and assume. Yeah. Well, and here's the thing. I don't even know if it matters what's in her, her, her mind, uh, Mr. Hoffmeyer. It matters what she did. She took scissors to your mm -hmm. child's hair, not her place. And so we're going to keep making calls. We hope you get answers. We're going to try to get some answers ourselves. Um, but you give Journey yeah, how, a big how is, hug how, how, how is Journey doing? But how is she doing real quick? Very quick. How, how is she doing? Uh, she's doing all I right. She's she had to move to another school. In my room every night. She still is get kind of bothered. But I have a great support system who is going to get her, mm -hmm. um, well, help her find mm -hmm. a, a person to get her some box braids. And that alone is getting mm -hmm. her so excited for this new hairstyle that she's going to have. So hopefully okay, that all well, works out her. and it keeps her happy. Yeah. yeah good for her. her. And I think keep I know who her. you should send the bill for the box braids to, uh, Mr. Hoffmeyer. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing your story. I think they owe her that and maybe a little bit something extra on there.